Hi, I'm Helen and I'm delighted to be here at Young Kitchens in Newton Ferris. Well, the first recipe I'm going to do for Vario Speed is a beautiful rhubarb brioche. So lots of people think of combination microwaving as being the jacket potato, which of course it's superb for cooking jacket potatoes quickly, but it has a lot of other uses. So this one is a superb recipe and rhubarb at the moment is in the season. When rhubarb goes out of season, you could substitute this for some plums, for example. So I'm just going to sprinkle this with some caster sugar and then I'm just going to cover with some cream film and then what I need to do is just allow a little bit of the steam to come out and switch the oven on. I want to change it on the menu because it comes up as the 4D hot air. Change the menu and I want pure microwave for this and so I'm going to pop that in there and I just want it at 600 watts which it defaults to for about four minutes. If you're doing plums it'll probably be less time for it. And press start. We've got the compact version here as well so while that's going on I can talk about the microwave because people often wonder why it defaults to the 600 rather than the max. Max is purely for heating liquids. So that is the reason why we have that. So if you're generally cooking, 600 be the wattage that you would need to use. So max hot drinks, water, milk, liquids only. 600 is for your main cooking. Then we have 360 watt, which often is with a combination mode, 180 and 90 watt. With this compact vario speed, talking about the 600 watt, probably a lot of us putting everything on a thousand to cook everything, but ideally 600 watt gives you a much better cooking result. It might take a fraction longer, but you will get better cooking results at the end. One question we do get is what about ready meals that people have because they have their own timings on them. So with this we're suggesting that if you put on chilled food, put one minute on max and then the time it says on the packaging for chilled and if it's frozen do three minutes at max and then the timing on the packaging that it says. Now I like the night water, I think lots of people have forgotten and they think of oh, perhaps defrosting, but I use this one when I've got a sauce, if I've cleared everything up and I just want my sauce to keep hot, as long as it's in a microwavable jug, you can keep it going on 90 watt for quite a few minutes and it just pulsates it rather than keeps it cooking. So it's a great one, I'd say for your gravy when you want to clear up, or quite often I have it for the custard for the pudding later on after the meal. Also, with these ovens, do remember that when you have got the microwave, you do have the microwave embossed shelves to them. So these are the only ones that you should be using on the microwave mode. So if you do have the other ovens at home in the range of the IQ 700, do make sure that the microwave goes into the microwave oven. Oh, I don't see how the rhubarb is doing. Looks beautiful there, there's some steam coming out. So we'll just take this out, we'll say of the various speed. And so I'm combining microwave with oven and they cause the various speed. So careful how we just take the cling film off. And you can just see that the rhubarb is just beginning to pulp a little bit. And then what I need to do now is go, I'm just going to layer the slices of brioche with the rhubarb and some quality luxury custard. So. And a little bit of the rhubarb, so like spread it on a little bit. A little bit more of the brioche. It doesn't matter if it collapses. Just layering it up as you would like bread and butter pudding, but we're just doing it with the brioche. And of course it's got all the beautiful butter in the brioche, so we don't need to butter it. And these will be nice soaked in a little bit of egg and have some muddy French toast with those. You could fry that, so there's no need to waste the brioche. So all I need to do now is pour some luxury custard over the top. So the brioche now is pretty coated with this beautiful custard, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of demerara sugar over the top. This just gives it a crispy crunch to it. And then I'm just going to be cooking this in the IQ 700 Siemens oven on the Vario speed using a combination of the oven hot grilling and the microwave setting. So we're going to pop this into the oven. I 
So I've been using it on microwave. I want to go back to the menu and I want to go on the microwave combination setting. So we can do this setting in combination in your 4D hot air, your top and bottom and two other ones there. But I'm actually going to do the circulated air grilling. I want it at 180 degrees C. The wattage I want 180 as well. And I want to put this on for 15 minutes and we can just start. Another idea for your combination microwave ovens, because a lot of the people just think of the humble potato um, or perhaps roasted vegetables, which of course is absolutely superb and of course you can cook them in half the time pretty well. But these are some lovely tikka cauliflower florets and all it is is some natural yoghurt or if you wanted a dairy free uh, alternative you can use that. There's some tikka paste and some mango chutney. Mixed them together and I just did this last night so they've been marinating overnight and all I need now is to cook this in the oven. I'm going to be using the compact combination microwave here, the various speed one, and so I'm just going to pop this in. That one there, we want the microwave combination and with combination you can have this in 4D hot air, the top and bottom, the grilled, also with grills, which again are both large and a small area. So this is quite nice as well, but I'm just going to put in this hot air grilling, 180. I'm doing it 360, this particular one, because the higher the wattage, getting a little bit more of the denseness of the cauliflower compared to what we've got with the brioche, which is a more gentle way of adding the microwave. So again, this is just going to be cooking for 15 minutes and then we can press start. So we're going to have two totally different ideas which people perhaps don't think about with combination microwave cooking. All right, well, we can hear that the rhubarb brioche is perfectly cooked now. Smells divine, absolutely gorgeous. So we've got the total rails, so we know to use them. And then we've got this beautiful rhubarb brioche there, which is such a popular recipe in my household. Gorgeous. Rhubarb and custard always goes anyway, but add a bit of brioche, superb. All right, now we're going to go to the very sweet compact oven where we've had this beautiful tikka cauliflower cooking and it's just coming out here. It looks, smells again gorgeous. So I'm just going to use the pull out rails to make it easier for me to get into the oven. And there we've got these beautiful tikka cauliflower. And I'm just going to serve these. So, as I say, this was just some natural yogurt, or you could use a dairy free substitute, some tikka paste, and some smooth mango chutney, which I just, and they really are superb. A lovely compliment for lots of dishes, be it fish or meat, or I quite often like a lovely array of different vegetables. Just with this, just drizzling it over. So every so often you can just get a little fruity burst of the mango. And was another lovely way to serve these cauliflower breads. It's just putting a couple in a little gem lettuce leaf, like so.